Hello, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to share your PowerPoint presentation during your class or meeting with sounds and the right way. So let's start. So first, make a call or a meeting, then join. As you join the meeting, you have to wait for your participants and for the setup to open. So there we go. So as soon as you have your meeting opened and you decided to share your PowerPoint presentation, click on the share button. All right, so this time we have a new version of the Teams. So if you are used to share your slides or PowerPoint presentation through your desktop, which I think it limits your view to see your students and the other features of the Teams, I recommend for you to use the Browse. So click on Browse. You may have option to upload from your computer or from OneDrive. So I get it from my computer. It will direct it to my documents and I will open my PowerPoint presentation. Since I have uploaded it already before, so I will just going to click on upload a copy. So there you go. This is the full view of my PowerPoint presentation. So I can scroll it up on top or I can simply click on the PowerPoint screen to go on next. Also, it still allow my students and myself to see the participants down here. It allows me also to see, to show and hide the participants. Still, I can access the conversation, the raise hands, and the more actions button. All right, so let's suppose we are sharing a video to our class, okay? So this video is automatically be set also to your class. They may also play it by themselves. They have their own button to click on play. So once they click on play, they can already listen to it at home. So in your case, when you are teaching also some students at the classroom for the face-to-face -face learning, so you can just click on it. But make sure that the settings of your sound comes from your monitor, which is your Clever Touch speaker. So click on more actions, go to the device setting, click on device setting, and make sure you are clicking on the speaker to connect sense ISST audio when you are using the Clever Touch. Then the audio from your PowerPoint presentation will come from your TV or your Clever Touch monitor. All right, so you may also tell the students to click the play button together with you so it will be played simultaneously or it will be played together. So as soon as you play, okay, so you have already the control on it, and when it's over, then you may return it to your speaker, which is, could be your headset, to your head, or your headphones. So now I'll be still using my speaker too, because I'm still talking to my students in the class. So I can click on next. Students also may have also their own access to the PowerPoint. If they wanted to proceed to the next, they're not going to wait for the teacher to finish the, the slides. They can have a control of themselves, especially to our higher ability group. So if they wanted to, they knew it already and they don't want to hear the explanation from the teacher, they can click on next by themselves. Also, when you are showing the task, especially if you're showing it per slide for the task, 
your other students, especially your higher and middle ability, can click on the next part of the slide to view the task two and the task three screen or slides. So that's the advantage of using the browse as for sharing your PowerPoint presentation during your class. I hope you have learned something today, but before that, also students may also click on focus where they can view the entire presentation bigger than the usual or return it to the unfocus where they can see again you, their teacher and their other classmates on screen. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video. Till next time. Bye.